Okay, welcome to tutorial two for creating interactive flip charts. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the steps of creating your own magic bulldog or magic page, however you want to set it up, um, by basically just using different colors to show text in one area and then drag it through to another area and have it show a different set of text. Um, so in this particular case, we are translating I love you to te amo in Spanish. And in this example, we are taking this word problem for a math class and we are uh, pulling it through to find the answer. Okay, so let's get started and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is pull up my browser window so that we can see how this page is set up. Um, that way you can either use it as it is or you can go in and, and edit the colors and the pictures and the text and things. <coughs> as you need to. So in order to show you how to set up, I'm going to just delete this example, get rid of that so we have some more room on our page, and I'm just going to show you using the translation text. So if I take this I love you and I drag it down here, I'll show you exactly how this is set up. Basically this is one sentence. Um, I love you with a bunch of spaces and then te amo in a different color. And that's really how this magic bulldog works. You just set it onto the opposite color on the left side here and then you put it on the light blue when you're on the dark side so then when you drag it through it's just basically revealing the color okay obviously te amo doesn't show up over here because it's the same color as the background and I love you doesn't show up over here because it's the same color as that background so that's all we're doing and to make it work you're just gonna lock the panels down to the background so that they don't move with it um, and that way the color uh, gets revealed and you also lock this middle picture here of the bulldog. And that's basically all you do. You can see I have um, these squares. Those are our two panels. Okay, this one I've highlighted here is the light blue. And this one is the dark blue. And you can notice here that they are locked. So if you wanted to edit the colors and things, you could just unlock those. All right, and by doing that, you just click on the square. Uh, right now I'm inside my object browser. And if I click on this little menu bar, I'll just uncheck locked. And now this square is unlocked and I can edit it. So let's say I wanted to make it a different color. I'm going to make it this pink color. And I'm just going to take my paintbrush tool or my paint bucket tool and make that a different color. All right, now keep in mind when you do that, you've got to also change the coloring in your letters. Otherwise, it's not going to work correctly. Okay, so I would take my I love you. I would make it the same color as that fuchsia. Okay, and now when I drag it through, it still works the same. All right, so I'm just showing you that so that you can tweak this and use it as your own. All right, I'm going to reset us back to where we were just for... Um, to change these to fit your lesson, you're just going to... Uh, what I would do is just drag it to the middle of the page so that you can see both sides of the sentence double click in there and just make it your own. Um, is this tutorial helpful? <coughs> Alright, here's my first question. Then when they drag it through the bulldog, it's going to give the answer and I'm going to say yes. But I'm going to make this the light blue so that it hides itself on this screen and <coughs> shows itself on the next. Okay, and we'll make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to take a couple spaces there. Okay, so is this tutorial helpful? Drag it through. Yes, of course it is. Okay, so that's how you can tweak things, tweak this as your own. Now I'm going to continue on in this video to show you how to build this from scratch. Um, you can keep watching if you want to build your own page. If you just watch this tutorial to learn how to edit the one I provided for you, then you're done and you can go ahead and change colors and uh, change the font and do whatever you want to do to it. But we're going to keep going on. I'm going to start on a completely blank page and we're going to build this from scratch so we can see how it works. Okay, so the first thing I need to do on my blank page is I need to put in those two panels that are going to be two different colors. So to do that, I'm going to click on the Shape tool and I'm going to choose uh, just a regular square and I'm going to draw out the square on the page <clears throat> and you just want to get it on there and let it and just leave it however you first draw it because we're going to um, shape it up the way we need it to be 
So once you get the square, you're just going to um, move it to the top of the screen. And click on it so that you get your editing boxes. And we're going to just make it a little bit narrower, a little bit longer, so it fits down the page. Alright, and once we get it about halfway, kind of covering halfway across the page, we're going to right click on it and we're going to duplicate it. And then we're going to drag the other one right over to the opposite side. Okay, so now we have our page. I'm actually going to cheat a little bit and just make that a little bit bigger there. And now what we need to do is make these two different colors. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So I'm going to make this side. Whoops. I don't want that. I'm going to make this yellow. And I'm going to make this orange side green. There we go. Okay. Now you can put something in the middle here for the magic circle. Um, it can be a picture like the example I showed you before, or you can just do a circle and put some text in it. If you want to save time, it's a little bit easier. You don't have to get bogged down in the design of it all. And you could just put a circle there and put in the middle magic circle. Or if you want to make this content specific, you could do cause and effect or results. You know, if you're doing a problem and result type thing. So you just want to kind of tweak that for your own use. But I'm going to do magic circle for now. And I'm going to just put that in the middle of the page. Okay, so where we are right now on our page, we have everything set up as the background. So we don't want anything on this page so far to move. We don't want to be able to drag anything because that's just going to screw up our page. So we're going to go to the browser menu. And we're going to make sure that everything is locked. All of these things are locked. And we can actually just click locked and it'll lock them all at the same time. Everything on the page right now we want locked. So if I try to drag, it's not going to drag accidentally, it's not going to shift, it's not going to move. Okay. And now the only thing we need to do is add our text and slide it through the magic circle and watch it change colors. So we're, we're almost done here. So I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to type in here, thank you and gracias. So thank you is what I want to have on the left side of my page. And when I drag it through the magic circle, I want it to reveal gracias as the answer. So what I need to do is make these the opposite color of the background that they're sitting on so that they only show up on, this, on the screen that they're supposed to be shown on. So for thank you, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to come up here to the color select area, and I'm going to click on this color dropper. And I'm going to click over here on the green. I want it to be the same color as this green. Okay? And I'm going to click on the gracias, and I'm going to make that the same color as the yellow. All right. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so it kind of works better. Okay. So here you are. We have thank you, and we want to drag it through. And we want it to come to the other side. Now, here's the problem. It's dragging on top of our magic circle. And that's not good. So what we need to do is we need to work with the layers to make sure that the magic circle is on top of the text so that the text goes underneath it. Okay, so I'm going to go into my object browser box, which shows me where everything's sitting, what layer it's all sitting on. And I'm going to find my magic circle shape tool. Okay, and there it is. There's my magic circle. So the problem is, is that it's in the middle layer. I want to move it up to the top layer. So I'm just going to click it and drag it up and let it go so it sits on the top layer. Now because we didn't group this ahead of time, we also need to take the text that was sitting on it that said magic circle. We're going to take that and drop it on top, on the top layer also, on top of the shape. Okay? And that should work. So now I have my thank you. I'm going to take it down, drag it through, and I have my gracias. All right, and you can add as many as you want. You can add titles. You can obviously make this a picture if you want to. Um, so there's a whole bunch of options for you to tweak this the way you want it to work. Okay, that's how it works. Thanks for watching.